So I've really been liking this one up Super Duty bike rack, but one issue with these, any platform rack really, is that when you have bikes on it, it's most likely that the bikes are going to block the rear turn signals and brake lights on your car. Um, there's a center high mount in my car, so the brake, at least some people could see that, but I was finding that while driving, I'd be printing my turn signal on and people wouldn't see me or give me space. And uh, I think it was mostly just because they couldn't see I was trying to turn. So I ended up going and picking up this uh, lighting kit. It's, uh, this is the cheap brand. I'll leave a link uh, in the description, but I think Kurt makes basically an identical thing, or this is probably a rip off of the Kurt one, to be honest. But this was about $26 and it came with those LED stick on lights with the wire for a trailer plug. So it comes with the wire for a four pin plug like so, and a nice, lots of long wire on it and to make it easy to wire up. And it is stick, peel, like peel and stick tape basically. But what I actually did was I took that peel and stick tape off and I put hook and loop, um, trying to find where it is right here, like Velcro. So I put Velcro on it because I would eventually like to get a, um, an, an add-on. So this way I could actually just peel these off the Velcro and put another piece of Velcro on the add-on and just peel these off and move them to the add-on. So pretty easy to do. Um, took me about 30 minutes to install, mostly just for figuring out where all the wires should go. So I'll kind of show you where it all goes. So you can see here, I rooted the wire underneath, held it with a zap strap and I actually fit it underneath the platform here. So to get there, you just have to, there's a couple Allen bolts, hopefully focus, one there, and then one on the back side, kind of over there, that hold the platform to this base, basically. So just by loosening those, I was able to get the these connectors through the platform here. And then I just ran the wire, you can see, over top of this beam, just so it wasn't hanging low or anything over top of the black bar underneath. I found that if this was on top, it was like stretching for some reason or pulling. And also it was potentially going to catch into one of these notches and pinch the wire. So I decided to run this underneath. That way it just stays away from all that. Don't have any issues with it catching or pinching. So you can kind of see, so through the platform, over this aluminum center bar held by the zap strap, which I need to cut that off. And over the black bar, underneath this white or the silver pivot, and then to the plug. And you can make this as long as you want just by bundling all the wires up and using a couple zap straps just to hold them together. I'm thinking I'll eventually, as long as it all works and the length and everything's right, I'll get a piece of loom or something and try to figure out how I can wrap this up a little bit cleaner so it looks a little bit nicer. But really it's totally functional and who really cares how it looks. So anyways, that's what it looks like all packed up. And then come down like so. And right now I just have the hazards on. Um, with the brake lights on, the one thing, okay, so one thing that's kind of negative about this rack is, or this these lights, is that with the hazards on, uh, it looks pretty good, it looks nice and bright. It is a little dark right here, so not the best, um, example. I'm just going to try to balance my phone here. Classic. I'm going to turn the hazards off. I'll put on the brakes. I'll do a left turn. And then with the brakes applied, I'll do a right turn. And then I'll turn my headlights on so you can see what the marker lights look like. And then apply the brakes again and then do a left turn and right turn. And you'll see that these are pretty nice and bright, but they're not 100%. Um, really, if you want it to be as best as possible, you'd almost want to get two sets of these and somehow wire them together. But I'll jump in the car and show you what they look like. Okay, brakes. Left. Right. Brakes off. Headlights on. Brakes. Left. Right. Okay, so hopefully that gave you an idea of what they look like. So you can kind of see that when they were on uh, headlights on and then brakes, you kind of lose half the lights almost. So during daytime, they'll be a little bit brighter. At nighttime, if 
if you have your headlights on or your running lights on, then they're not as bright. So are they perfect? I wouldn't say they're perfect. They could be brighter, but for 25 bucks, you can't really go wrong. And it's better than what was there, which was nothing. All right, anyways, I hope this was helpful. Gave you an idea of something you could do for lights. Um, super easy, cheap, functional, and uh, just a bit of time and some zap straps and you're good to go. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And like I said, I'll leave some links for the Kurt one and the one that I got here in Canada um, if you're interested. Thanks for checking it out and let me know or let others know if you have any other ideas or things that you've done.